Uh, hey, Scott. You all right? I missed the button to press record. Your microphone might sound a little bit different today. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you why, because the mic's it's not even on. Not. Okay. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. We're back. You okay? Yeah. I hit. I missed the record button if you didn't hear me from before. Why are you so stressed today? You know, because I'm just running around doing a lot. Mm. Oh, what could you be doing? This is the most important thing. I didn't say anything. I know. It's just what happens before we turn the mics on versus after is is two separate stories. You said, it, is, it is, as we say, a tale of two cities. I remember that book that I had to read in high school. Do you? You said that we couldn't fight or argue, so... Yeah, I said people liked the Cooper episode. They liked that it was a nice little change of pace, a breath of fresh air. So I think we should bring that breath of fresh, fresh air into this episode. That was a different podcast. A lighthearted, happy episode. That was a completely different podcast. That was serial hey, killers. Bye, bye. We're not doing that. We're not going to be jerky, Scott. We're going to be happy, Scott. Ready? This is Bull Chat. You are correct. This the is Bull Chat. podcast to Serial Killers. Absolutely. Where we're just going to have a nice conversation. Could we get into a little bit of rough and tumble? Absolutely. But we're going to keep it nice and easy. Today is Wednesday, April 12th, just a few days away from tax day. I know. I still have to do my taxes. Shut up. I know. Do you, are you one of those people that like, file for a, an extension? I might need to because I have so many different things that are going on that I need to like get them all in order and it's just very stressful. So. very, very busy. Yes. So many entities. Yeah, well, I got it next year, February 15th. That's going to be my deadline and if mm. I don't get everything in by February 15th, then I'm screwed. But Taxes are stupid. It is stupid. Can, you just, can they just take out what they need? It, thank you. They could they could take out what they need. They know how much I owe them. So why are you making all these little guessing games in between? I'm not that. I, I'm not smart with the numbers. Just have a website where everybody could go to. You put in your social security number. You put in your name. The government tracks you. Let's not m- mince words about it. They know where we're. There's got to be a better system. Like like. Uh, someone that hires you to do something sends you a piece of paper, then you have to submit it. It's so it's stupid. Just, like, there must be a better way. It's so dumb. How is it that there is not just, a, again, a website where I could pay an invoice that the government sends me? You're telling me that I could pay tickets online where they could track my license plate for years and years and years to pay all this stuff. But when it comes to tax season, it's, oh, sorry, pay $500 for easy tax online. Everybody should just have a QR code tattooed on them okay so no i don't think we should do qr code why it's something called a social security number and we all have them i get it but people can scam with that your qr code is specifically yours and if it's tattooed on you i don't want a tattoo of a qr code and it's just like you scan it every time you make money and then they know what you owe no it should again just be tracked your social (laughs) security number your name they could find you already so let's just please streamline the process please don't the holocaust stuff i didn't mean it like that i'm so sorry Please, I understand. Tattoos. I don't think anybody is, so don't worry. I don't, I don't know. No. I thought of that right away, and I am <laughs> sorry. It just needs to be name, social security, d- place. Listen, if we're experiencing all those tax, uh, not tax things, like your credit scores, mm-hmm. you have to put in so much information. And they could ID it with like a form of ID. You could put in your driver's license. You could do something. You're very riled up about this. I just, I hate it. It's I a hate waste taxes. of time and money. I hate it it's so much. It's just a waste. And I've thought about doing it myself, but then I get into the weeds with it and I'm thinking, oh, there's no way I could do this by myself. I don't know how people do it with like tax, uh, whatever online. TurboTax. TurboTax. How do people do that? And that's another scam. Just putting numbers in. When you think about it, that's also a scam. Let's talk about that for a quick sec. Probably not quite a scam. For sure it is because they're paid to tell you how much you owe. It's a service that literally is like the intermediary, which means that they know how much I owe. And then I'm paying for like a subscription service for a service that's just telling me how much I owe. Man, who's a stressed, angry one today? I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. And I think it you would agree with me. I do. But whatever. That's why I hire a guy and he does it. Oh, well, I give him papers and he does it. I guess that would that's be it. the only downside is that it would put accountants out of business. Or tax attorneys. Look, every time I get something tax related, I put it in a folder from the beginning of the year. And at the end of the year, I have a folder and I give it to the tax guy and he does it. Yeah. That's it. (sighs) Sorry. It just charges like 600 something dollars for it. Riles me up. insane. Riles me up. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? It really grinds my gears. All right, Homer. It's a beautiful day outside. That's that's Peter Griffin. Same thing. No, it's... It is. They, inter- they inter- intertwine. Okay. It's a beautiful day. We should be outside riding a city. See, we should be doing this on city bikes. Yeah. We should get little headsets and we should record on city bikes, horns, and the, 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 the city's alive right now. It's beautiful out. We're sitting in a studio, gray, dank studio, no logo. Like, yeah. we should just get out. 
Yeah. Do it in the street. Cameras on us. Yeah, that's we'll, put a, we'll put GoPros on the front of the city bike. I think that would be the worst podcast of all time. Well, I bet it's been done. We could do one um, from Central Park one day. Just sitting there with the birds chirping? Yeah, that would be beautiful. homeless people pissing on us and asking for money? Where do you go in Central Park that you're finding these people? Because if you go sit on the Great Lawn, I'm pretty sure that you have to really go find one. And something tells me you'd be that person. They're everywhere. Oh, no, I can't go sit over there. Scott, that's two miles away. Yeah, no, 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 that's dank and dirty. I'm not going over there. Yeah, well, speaking of, I find that it was uh, convenient that you were absent from the Jersey City excursion the other night. Well, I was in Florida. Well, you know, on purpose, I think. Why? Well, because you didn't want me to, it was true that all this garbage in Jersey City. Here we go. Yeah. There was all vomit this garbage everywhere. In Jersey City. Vomit, Where homeless were people. You that there I don't was know. Garbage. I must have wandered down the wrong alley. Okay. There's no alleys oh, in Jersey City. Oh, yes, there City. was. There absolutely was an alley. It even was called something alley, and I took a picture of it. What? Okay, do you have the picture? It was right by Gringo's. There's alley, something alley. Oh, it's the one that's right outside of Gringo's. Oh. That's the only alley. Oh, there's no alleys in Jersey City. And also, City. there was, I don't know what you're talking about. There were people about. shooting up there, everything. Shooting? No, they're yeah. not. I, I'm t- totally kidding. It was oh, beautiful. Man. We had a great time. <laughs> It was really, I mean, we, there were a couple homeless people, but that's everywhere. Yeah. You know, but it was, uh, we had a really fun night. Saturday I felt night. so sad that I wasn't there for it. I was in Florida. Me too. It was a good time. You'll have to come back. I will. I've... And next time you could stay in my apartment. Mm, I don't know. No, your, your brother-in-law was staying there. Yeah. It was so weird. It's like no one ever stays in my apartment. And then the one day that I'm gone, you texted that you might stay over. Yeah. My sister... My brother-in-law texted that he might need my apartment, so I was like, eh, "Yeah, yeah." He hung out with us for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, nice. Had some chips. Chips. The the food at Gringos is good, especially when I order my own because I don't get anything that's on the menu. So you know, I like that you make it seem like yeah, I get the own a special. They make something special for me. It's literally meat, rice, no tortilla. rice, no, no. <laughs> Listen, my go. They make me the kids' plate special. My go-to taco is chicken. Okay. Lettuce, mm-hmm. tomato, mm-hmm. cheese, mm-hmm. sour cream, Great. and a soft taco. Amazing. I love that no matter where I go. Great. So a taco place should have that available, wouldn't you think? Instead of drizzled with balsamic, creme, blah. <laughs> like, hello, it's a taco joint. Have regular tacos also. Also, just the way you say that is so like 90s punk. Garnished! Yeah, it's a taco joint. <laughs> It's it a is. taco joint. I mean, if you look at it, it's a taco joint. I rode my skateboard to Gringo's, and that's where I get my favorite taco from my taco joint. Let me tell you something. The Gringo's in Cedar Rapids, that was the bomb. And we also said that in the 90s. The bomb. <laughs> that was the bomb.com. <laughs> there was no really dot .com back then. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bomb diggity, maybe. But we weren't saying the bomb.com because... Is was a... Dot from com. the 90s? Is what? Was a... Yeah. Uh, that's probably late nineties, early two thousand. That's Budweiser. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that was late nineties, perhaps. Yeah. Hmm. Dumb. <laughs> but you remembered it. Yeah, I do remember. You were in that diapers. One. I also remember the one with the frog. Bud wise. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember the frogs. See, that's funny. Very effective advertising. You know what I've been obsessed with lately? Hmm. Savage Garden. I don't understand why. <laughs> I saw it on a sketch on Instagram. And one of the reels. Who's doing sketches? Anyway, and one of the songs was, um, ooh, uh, da, da, da. Uh-huh. I Want You. Yeah. That's a jam. That is a jam. I wish we could play it, but this box is not configured. Well, listen, you could just play it off the Bluetooth that I have on my computer or on this thing. Yeah, no, that's all right. You didn't no, ever connect it. You never connected your phone to no, it. No, I did. It's why it's iPhone 186 right there. Mm. So I'll, I'll play it. You don't need to do this. Okay. Let me let me pull it up. I did like a whole deep dive into it the other day. A uh, jam. And do you know they'll never get back together? Why? why I mean, why would they? They were from the a long time ago. Work. Well, Steer. no, they broke up at the height of their range. Did you know this? You I didn't. Yeah. Your team I read all about it. Need most. I hate this song. You didn't like Truly Madly Deeply? In a way that works for them and your bottom line. Wait. This is a WeWork commercial. Okay, God. I went to St. Jude's because I have This is a St. Jude's commercial. Oh, oh. We're not sponsors of St. Jude's, but we do support them. Yeah. Look at this 90s video. Cherry Cola. We are not going to pay for this. I'll happily give our... What is that? Who's yelling shut up? Why is she yelling? Oh. Okay. A jam. A jam. And the video is so 90s. And, and it's a song that has cherry cola in it. Yeah. 
Do you know that? We, when I, Thank you for, uh, we're demonetized on this video, but we're getting all the royalties. Because of that? One. Yeah. It's literally six seconds or less. Was it really that important to play that? You uh, it was stupid for me. a-hole? It was for me. Why? Savage Garden, take my money. <laughs> But you said they broke up. They did. I'm sure they're still getting money from it. Do you know they sold like 25 million records? Huh. Isn't that crazy? Do you know what song had the word cherry wine in it? That's cherry cola. There was another one with cherry wine. Cherry Three, wine. Two, one. Three, eleven. We don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Oh, no. We can dance and party all night and drink some cherry wine. Oh, I only know that from the Gym Class Heroes one. What is that? We have to take our clothes oh, off. Oh, they said we have to? Yeah. Oh. To have a good time. Clothes off, off, off. Jermaine Stewart. Oh, no, Gym Class Heroes. Yeah, yeah, I said Gym Class Heroes, right? Yeah, I think so. Man, this was this was like quintessential 80s. It was, and, and then we did it in a play. You know, we already lost the monetization. So no, 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 no stop playing stuff. Because I know you are. Trying to see how no, I'll listen to it later. No, listen, stop. Maybe we didn't lose it. We did. I don't want to hear it. Stop. Why are you doing this? Because I want to hear it. Listen to it on your own time. Stop it. It's literally at the you're chorus, gonna break the you idiot. No. You get us in trouble. I'm not getting anybody in trouble. I'm not going to YouTube jail. Stop. There it's is a, no YouTube jail. There is. Cut it out. Oh, <laughs> these are the short That's bus. great. I used to drive <laughs> that. Wow. What? Yeah, I think it's funny, that Gym Class Hero song. That was a good one. You know, then we remixed it. We did a show in camp, at, in Camp Summit, mm -hmm. in 1986 when that song was popular. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we couldn't really sing the whole thing. Yeah, I would hope not. At a summer camp, you were all singing around singing, we have to take our clothes and off. And instead of cherry wine, we had to say cherry Coke. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, dirty. <laughs> but the we have to take our clothes off part stayed? I think so. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's the cherry wine. No, but, no but they're saying we don't have to take our clothes off. Uh, they're not saying take your clothes off. Oh, okay. So then we had to say, you know, and drink some cherry Coke. Yeah, right. That's what we said. We ad-libbed there. Well, for those- Were you ever in a, wait, were you ever in like a, like a school or camp show or something like no, that? No, I didn't go to camp. How about a school? Were you ever in a school play? Yeah. Yeah. There was an improv play that I was- in, and then I was the lead in a this terrible play in eighth grade. Um, so, yeah, those are the only two. Is there any video? I don't think so. And I pray to Jesus it never, ever resurfaces if there is. I did a show, I remember, in it was an elementary school, and it was about communication. And I don't, all I know is that I had a fake broken arm, I think, because I guess somebody beat me up because we weren't communicating. <laughs> And my big line was, let's communicate. It's not too late. And then the curtain went down. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Yeah, That's I, don't remember, I don't remember the rest of it. Hmm. So Cooper was just in the SpongeBob play. I heard. Yeah. She well, loves it. She's who such is a, she? She's a play kid. Um, she, was a, she, she was just like a, a, she was a, she was in a lot of scenes. I don't know. She was a dancer. And Did they have um, background the singer. fish that goes my leg? No. Oh. It was the kids' edition, the youth edition. I know, but that was always like a famous part of SpongeBob with the one fish who would just come out of nowhere and go, my leg! No, oh, they they changed it a little bit, but um, sorry, I'm just trying. I'm going to try to find the picture of me in this play. You can go ahead and talk. Um, yeah, yeah. no, I um, pray to Jesus <laughs> that there's never any footage that resurfaces of that play. But there has to be. You know that, right? I don't think so. Why wouldn't there be? It was a Catholic school. They didn't have much money. Nobody had a video camera in the crowd. No, thank hmm. God. And if there is, keep that to yourself. But, so, okay, so what year was that? Two thousand five. There was definitely a video camera there. I hope there's not. Why wouldn't there be? I, I just hope there's not. Nobody had a video camera in 2005. Dude, I had one since 1991. I know you did because you were a video recorder guy. That was your thing. I was that guy that always had a video camera on my yeah. on my arm no matter where we went. Maybe that's why I never had a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, because you were recording everything. Well, we have to take a close No, we don't have to. I know, but that's the Gym Class Heroes version. They had the other song. What was their other song, Scott? Gym Class Heroes yeah. was uh, 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 Sex and the, and the Animals. Um, uh, the Animals uh, do it like uh, we do on the Discovery Channel. No, that's Scott. Not them. Gym Class Heroes was uh, Take a Look at My Girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. she's the only one I got. Yeah, who's, the, who's, the, who's the Sex with the Animals? Me and you, baby, yeah, that let's do it like mammals, so no, let's do it like, it like we do on, on the Discovery, Discovery Channel. Channel. Get horny now. Isn't that, I know I'm wrong, but is, what did Wright, Fred, Wright said Fred say? I'm too sexy? Yeah. yeah and that was I feel like, like it's in that vein. That was late 80s. Really? I'm too sexy? Maybe 91, 90, somewhere in there. I'm going to Google this really quick. I know I have what this What was the song picture. that I was singing? I'm oh, Animals. 
Let's it's not called animals. Do it like mammals. The person who sings that one was Bloodhound Gang, Gang that's and it's right. called the Bad Touch. Bad Touch. Look, there I am on stage with a fake broken arm. Aw, because <laughs> you didn't communicate. Yeah, I'm going to show it to the the YouTube audience. There I am, elementary school. And it's funny because I have a picture of Cooper on the same exact stage in the same spot. And wow. I haven't changed it. Well, yeah. we'll be back. Oh, wait, there's some sounds in there. Yeah, I know. We'll be back right after this. And we're back. Okay. What are you doing? Look, there I am. See, let's communicate. <laughs> and I'm yelling at that guy. And then he hit me. I could just see little <laughs> Scott. Hey, why aren't you communicating? See, if there was video from that, that would be amazing. I'm sure that you could find something. No, that's a 1980-something. They had video cameras. Only Adam Goldberg did. I, no one was walking around with video cameras then. Who? Why would I know your friend from, like, child school? It's not my friend, you idiot. It's from the Goldbergs. <laughs> Who's Adam Goldberg? Oh, from the show The Goldberg. I don't watch that show. <laughs> This is the final season, you know. It's very upsetting. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry. Because Cooper and I will sit and watch that show on Wednesday nights Aww. together. She loves it. Cute. Yeah, and, and now it's going to go away. It makes me sad. we got to find sorry. a new show to watch together. Yeah. I, I don't like watching her show. She watches Bunked and all these like weird- Bunked? Weird Nick, Netflix uh, kid sh- series. Ah. Weird like cats, magicians, and stuff. I, I don't know. Cats, just, magicians? Cat, <laughs> like these weird, these weird shows. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should terrorize your neighborhood. You don't remember that one? Ah, uh, no. Heathcliff in the 80s. Yeah, Heathcliff, mm-hmm. the 80s. I wish we had all these sounds. We can't get any of this stuff. Well, you know, we really do so much off the cuff. I could just play it on YouTube really quick. Will Let's we get in trouble it. for that too? Honestly, Scott, at this point, whatever. Heathcliff cartoon theme song. Nobody cares at this point. Th- that's it. Yeah, look at him with his girlfriend. I think Sonia was her name. Something Sonia? Like that. Something like that. The cat's name or dog's name was Sonia? Uh, no, it was a cat. <laughs> this person's the top comment is, he was the hood Garfield. That's right, he was. He would steal fish from the fish store. Wait, so this was just another cat? Yeah, he, you don't know who Heathcliff is? Terrify. Wow. Is, isn't Heathcliff based off a cartoon? A comic strip. That's it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. He's I'm a ladies' man. I Wait, love all the sound how effects. Is he a ladies' man? Because he's always trying to pick up the chicks. Do the chicks go for him? Yeah. He's a tough guy. Hold up. So people are like trying to hook up with a cat? Other cats, you idiot. Oh, I thought you were saying like human cats. Like I thought we were talking like family What's guy. What's a human cat? No, not like a human. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Lord, baby Jesus. You all right there, buddy? It Does it look like I'm I think you right. need some sunshine. Let's go outside and ride city bikes. I'm not riding a city bike with you. Why? Not today. Ever? I will eventually. Maybe tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful again. It's going to be 80 degrees here tomorrow. Oh, nice. Which is actually today. So Are we, we should go. Are the electric bikes? No, dude. Pedal. You need the exercise. Yeah. Look at the belly. Oh, please. Ow! <laughs> At least prepare me so I can tighten it up. <laughs> it's such a dick. It is coming back, though. I have to, I got to get back on my regimen. Your regimen, which is basically, I don't eat anything ever. And when I do, I take a small bite of it and then is that really just what look I did? at it. That's really not at all what I did. Oh, I... it was. You have your own rules. I forget who I was talking to. Everyone has their own rules, you idiot. I know, but yours are so odd. Why? That it's. Because okay, I don't eat like, anything. I, I eat nothing. Eat, nothing fried anymore. No, I never ever. You guys are all such a holes. I, I I never said I don't eat sweets ever. Those words never came out of my mouth. You don't eat the inside I of love a cupcake, sweet. but what you, you eat the frosting. What off are you the talking about? No, I don't do that. You're such so a, you eat the whole cupcake? No, I don't eat cupcakes anymore. You're okay. such a jerk. Oh hi, Cooper. She just said good morning. <laughs> wow. That was, that was something. What? Really worked yourself up into a tizzy on that I think that she one. heard us talking about it with the Goldbergs. Oh, nice. Uh, no, I just, I don't eat fried foods. Okay, so no French fries, no chicken fingers, no, no fried fries. shrimp, no chicken parm, none of that. Wow. But I, I started incorporating some other stuff in that I stopped. So that's why, you know, I'm putting on the pounds again. Okay. Putting on the Ritz. I like that song. I know. Dun, 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 Close. Putting on the Ritz. Mm-hmm. That's like the Inspector Gadget theme song. Kind of. Dun, 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 dun. Inspector Gadget. Coco Gadget dun, dun, dun. Arm. 
What happened? And now look what you did. What I do? Your camera. I fell. don't need that. Ca- I don't need people looking at me. Okay. I don't know who's watching that camera. I could tell this you who cameras is. Cameras here. I know who is. I know it's Deanna. Yeah. But I bet it goes somewhere else too. It does not. Yeah. Someone has it in their house on a little oh, monitor. Okay. Someone has it in their house on a little monitor. Don't you oh, think? All right. Okay. Dude, Big Brother's always watching. Big Brother's always watching. That's right. Maybe through that. No. Not through your phone. No. Oh really? Who could be watching right now? Hi. Well, I don't know. Maybe this front-facing camera that you have. Well, who, everyone has that. You don't have one. <laughs> no, I'm saying you don't think that. Who's by watching? By your logic, the Bill same Gates? person that's watching I mean, who's, this. Who's watching it's in there? Not, <laughs> it's not. The Apple guy, Mr. Cook. I already know I'm going to get a text from Newman saying you <laughs> saying that Bill Gates owns Apple. No, I didn't say he Makes owns Apple. No, he's the he's the Microsoft guy. This is Cook. Cook. Right? Isn't the Apple Tim guy Cook? Cook? Tim Cook. Yeah, which which I thought was the the Boston the beer logger guy, but it isn't. What? The the, the Bri- Adam Brian Adams, Sam Adams. You're Sam- just saying words. <laughs> the Sam Adams beer guy was Tim Cook or Jim Cook. Oh, okay. Was, but remember, I thought he went. I thought he went to Apple, but it's two different cooks. Ah, uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> You're right. You're such an A. I just I want to go. I, I'm such an A. I'm not into this one today. You you were late, and Scott, I have to go. Scott, we're not going to go ho- into it. Sawyer's home by himself right now. This is his new thing, guys. By the way, it's not my new thing. I no, want to no, start no. this at ten so I can go and let the dog out. Yeah, but then you were um in the bathroom when I needed that one file to upload to do something. You never told me that you needed. It. I'm not going to argue about this. It's semantics. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Okay, it's semantics. I will not argue about this now. It's semantics. That's my new one. I'm going to say that to people. Hmm. How come people are giving me... I, I can't get into this right now. It's semantics. Why are people giving me crap for my yellow sneakers? Today? No, no, no. Semantics. Oh, Those are fun. Because I have a little bit of yellow in the shirt, so it matches. Oh, yeah. I try to match. That's good. I do my best. Yeah. Do you have a belt? Uh, it's black. Hmm. That Shoot. means I could kick your ass. What? It's a black belt. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get that one quickly. You know no, you why? Didn't. Semantics. Oh. <laughs> How's Tommy and Gina doing? Uh, they're great. They're in Costa Rica. Oh, must be nice, man. Your friends all travel a lot. Well, you know, he's a prince, vice principal of a school, so they had off. That's cool. Week. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 Do you know he just spoke to a whole crowd of like 3,000 people? For what? For Survivor? No, because he's like an outstanding leadership uh, person that they're, they're, does things with schools. Well, congratulations, Tommy and yeah. Gina. Well, that's cool. Yeah, Tommy did that. Yeah. Yeah. How's Gina? Gina's great. She's right. also in Costa Rica. That's so. cool. That's cool. Do they have kids? No, they do yeah. not have kids yet. Diamond is very angry looking here. You must be sitting on her sweater or something because that's her jacket or her chair anyway. Did you need your sweatshirt? I don't need it, but I would love for him not to sit on it like that. I know. Okay. He farted on it. <gasps> I did not fart You really on should it. take it home and wash Ooh. it. It smells like we poop. Got... There's poop stain. No, it's poop. No, that's my that's my sweater for when I'm cold in here. And you know when I'm cold, I get crazy. Yeah. All right, well, we're doing bowl chat right now. Hey, motherfuckers, how hey, you no, doing? Hey, no, come on. <laughs> stop. Get, turn her off. So now we're demonetized and... Get out of here. We Why try not... Me? Because people are in cars with their kids going to school. Okay, people are in back, cars back, with their kids. Back, back, back. No, you're going to do it again. No, not, no, Don't no. give it to her. Hello, children across America. I know there are only probably two of you listening because nobody listens to this podcast. They don't now. I want you to think about this. Uh-uh. Think about what you want to do growing up, okay? You can all the what comments. What you want to be. Get Diamond off. Tell Diamond I don't like her. Because you Get off the podcast. Hate to be such a loser at such a big age yelling at a woman for saying the F word in 2023. Would you like to be a grown man talking about cereal every week? This is this <laughs> <laughs> study, guys. Andrew, if you know anything about, can you just sell in life, guys, or you'll end up on a podcast talking about cereal? Well, wouldn't that be a diss to you because you were just on said podcast about cereal? This no, is not about cereal. Listen. It's the wrong podcast. What are you guys talking about today? Nothing anymore. Thank you for listening to uh, Bold Chat. We'll see you on Monday. Bye, motherfuckers! <laughs> I seriously, can we just start over? It's just so dumb. It's so just childish. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Coming from you, that is rich. Yeah. That's childish. Hey, would you like to hear Beep Up? Boop Boop Beep Up? Uh, it's th- my favorite 80s theme song from when I was growing up. 
Oh, would you like to hear about how I put Wizzy Fart Box in <laughs> in people's lockers? <laughs> That's not childish. <laughs> Wizzy Fart Box. <laughs> You, you mean the the forty Saturn rocket missile launcher? Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> That's more mature. Hmm. All right. Well, we only got one ad break in. It's it's too bad. Okay. Well, it's just that we we need to start coming up with a list of topics, things that we can talk about. I want to know what's going on in your life. You want to know what's going on in mine, and we just need to have a conversation. But instead, it's like ba 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 diamond ba 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 ba. Motherfuckers, blah, 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 blah. Like, there's no, there's no content to this episode at all. Yes, there is. We're going to hear from Carla, and we're going to hear from Matt, and all these people can be like, eh, you guys, are, you're done. So all these people, two people, mm-hmm. um, and the randomness is what makes it fun. We never plan anything. Now, all of a sudden, we have to plan things. I'm sorry that this isn't a perfectly curated episode like your beloved serial killers. Oh, would you like a snack? What kind of snack? Well, so a friend of ours sent us a snack. Oh, here we go. What is it? What do you mean, here we go? What is it going to be? It's No, it's good. Oh, God. I'm going to get something thrown at me. I just know it. No, it's from our friend Ramiro in California. He what sent us it? some. He sent us some random cereal in unmarked bags and, and uh, some Fiesta Mix. It's, it, Cheetos. It's Conia Favoritas. Turbos fla- Flames. It's just, it's just Frito-Lay stuff. It's Frito-Lay stuff. And Sabritones. Yeah. It's like Mexican whatever. It's like a Chex Mix, but with spicy things. From Frito-Lay. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. It's expired. Well, it's not expired, but it's guaranteed fresh until April 20th. Oh, wait a minute. We're in April. Never mind. It's all good. <laughs> Here. Ooh. What are you going to have first from it? Um, it looks like Cool Ranch Doritos. Um, that looks like a 3D um, toasty. Uh, what's, the, what's the chip that does 3D? I don't know. Grab something. Oh, my goodness. These are big. Yeah. Oh, they're spicy. Mmm. Which one did you take? The red twirly one that looks like pasta. That's flaming hot. Yeah. Hmm. I need something to, like, pour it out on so we can get... Yeah, pour some on here. No, don't put... What'd you put it back for? You hand jammed, and then you put it back with your dirty ass hand that you didn't wash today. Oh, okay. So those are cool. Here, have a red hot spiral. <clears throat> These are my favorite. And they look like um, pasta. Mm. They, this looks like, um, what's the pasta called? Fusilli? Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Ramiro. Mm. Well, I don't know what that is. I don't want that one. What? That's like a pork rind. What is that? Okay. Eat that. What? Have this too. That's, um, Tell me what it is. That's a Dorito. No, it is not. That's a Cool Ranch Dorito. Nope, that's these. What? Try it. Come on, eat it. But Where's our friend Jason? He should be doing this with us. We'll have to invite him back. You know on Pluto TV, it's free, and you could download it, and they have a Survivor channel. And over the weekend, Tommy's season was on, so I sent him a picture of himself on TV. Remember that time when you were going to do a podcast about reality shows? I am still. Where is it? Ew. <laughs> what was that? A little flail. What was it? I don't know. Like a burst of lime or something. Mm. Mm. Good. Thanks for the snacks. These are the best ones. Yeah, okay. Too. Well, that was fun. Okay. Thank you all for listening. We appreciate you. Do you appreciate us? Not today. Can you not be such a negative Nancy? No. Let's be happy. If you didn't do your taxes yet, go do your taxes. That's the takeaway of this episode. I don't think it is. I think it is. Um, lead today with positivity and love and light in your heart. What? <laughs> I'm trying to leave positive messages for people. Hmm. Well, well. Thanks now, for listening to us eat. No, I was good. Yeah. These are 3D Doritos. No, I don't think no, they no. are. They ha- oh, oh. Damn They're it. turbos. They're turbos flame us. No, but the, con- the the thing of it is like um this Don't answer that. <laughs> Seriously, I've had it with her. Okay. Well, we thank you for listening. We love you. Okay, bye. We'll see you Monday with an all new serial killers. Mm-hmm. Uh it's gonna be exciting, actually. Oh, okay. And you'll find out why. Oh wow. All right. That's a tease. Uh, until then, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of the week and say clink, Andrew. Clink. Oh, not yet. Clink. Clink. I'm going to call Diamond back now. Apologies for this episode. Oh, please.